My name's Ryan Henry Ward. I'm from Seattle. I'm a muralist and I'm also a canvas painter. I consider myself an ATP, an all-terrain painter. I need you. I made this decision to be a professional artist. It was 2007. I didn't have any art in Seattle. I never did a show in Seattle. I didn't have any murals up in the city. I created 12 paintings and photographed them, took them around to different galleries, found a gallery. I got in and my stuff started selling right away. I was like, dang, this is what I'm doing. I knew I wasn't gonna make a ton of money, so I bought a truck and camper, moved into it in 2008, and just went all in. So I haven't had any other forms of income or any other kind of work besides purely surviving off of my art. And that's looked a million different ways. Most consistently is the murals. I've done 208 murals in the city of Seattle. What happened is someone asked me to do a mural. I did a mural, loved it, and I did a few more. I just went around to places and asked if I could do free murals. And then Ballard News Tribune did a story on me. And in that story, they said, this guy is doing murals for free. And so that first year I did 26 murals for free in the city. Uh, the 27th one is the f first one I got paid for. And that first year I did 35. The second year I did 35 more. So by two years into it, I had 70 murals up in the city. Yeah, I, I didn't know anybody in the art scene, you know, I was like two years into it, had 70 murals up and I had um, tons of haters. I was just like drenched with uh, a lot of negativity from other artists my age kind of doing similar stuff and I didn't even know them. And that's when I started like developing relationships and changing, you know, all that stuff around. I think I've got more friends than haters at this point and I just keep working on it, but like for me, it's just about making the work and doing the work, and it's it's not about all that drama, you know? It's more about the actual love and enjoyment of painting. For me, it's about the painting process, kind of just created my own way of creating art. I, I guess I, I find the process of making art important and keeping that original. Always doing stuff my own way is really important to me. Actually, when I was about five years old, I wanted to be a cartoonist. And my grandpa said, if you're gonna be a cartoonist, you know, you can't draw like any of the other cartoonists in the Sunday paper. And so that's kind of what, I would say I'm like a character-based artist. Well, I've been uh, curating the arts at Sasquatch for four years. I've been flown out to Crested Butte, Colorado, did some stuff with uh, Bud Light. Uh, I've been on CNN, um, got uh, interviewed for the HLN channel. I'm going to be doing a big project with Pepsi Cola coming up. Um, yeah, and I actually like enjoy that kind of stuff a lot. Yeah, so this collection of stuff, what I'm doing is streaming brain bubbles. And where I got that idea was how art works for me often is a stream of consciousness. Those ideas that just come to you and one after another and you just um, and you just lay them out. And it's kind of like how Jack Kerouac wrote, you know, it's just like, okay, this stuff is coming from somewhere, I don't know where and it's coming out and I call them brain bubbles because that's kind of what, for visual art, I think it makes more sense than, you know, the, the written word stream of consciousness makes sense, but brain bubbles seems like kind of the visual art equivalent of that. I need you.
so there's this world that I imagine and the lights went out. That's fucking crazy. There's a light switch right by the door. Is it automatic? It's yeah. It's yeah, that's that's it. <laughs>